Hey guys, how are we doing? My name's Danny, this is Crafty D Sculpting, and in this week's video we're going back to the world of 40k. Might be able to see over my shoulder there, there's a scaven, and that's what we're making this week. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, it really does help me out. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. And just like that, we are back. And as you can see, we're starting off with the armor chart, and we're using our trusted 3mm aluminium wire, as we usually do. Off camera, I just cut these and slightly bent them into shape before putting them into a wooden base and then getting myself some floral wire. I'm going to cut some of that to length, and we are going to bind them together around the uh, chest area. Well, we're just going to start off like that and then start whipping it around down the uh, actual length of the armature wire until we get something like that. Right, now what we're going to do is now we've got our other head. So we're going to get a bit more of this freemium armature wire. We're going to cut a little bit off to size and we're going to bend it around like that. Now we're going to get our floral wire again and just attach that into place. Right, now that's done, we can get on with bulking out the body slightly. Now we're going to do this by starting off with a little bit of aluminium foil. We're going to bend and shape around them and squish into place as such. And we're going to do this all the way down the legs as well. But for now, that's the body done. Right, for this one we are using Super Sculpey Original, might I add. Now we're just going to separate all these pieces and turn it into a blob like that. Once it's been conditioned, we can then tear off the desired amount and start bulking out the body again. Now it doesn't have to be too perfect at the moment as, as I say this is just literally bulking out for the moment and then he's going to go in the oven shortly. But as you can see we're just going to get all the main parts done around the legs and the chest area. Right, now he's been in the oven, you can see we are going to now use some of this liquid clay. Now, it's just going to help bond the next level of, uh, or shall I say layer, of clay that we're going to put on him. But we're just going to get some of this on him, smooth it all into him. And now we can start bulking up the body just that little bit more. And what we're going to be doing here is just getting clay on and not worry about the body too much because he's going to be basically covered in clothes. Now we're going to move on to the head before we go any further. As you can see, I'm just basically starting to find the shape, get the mouth all cut into shape. We're going to scoop out some of the insides. There we go, getting the bottom and the top done. Now we're going to use a ball stylus just to smooth everything off. Once that's done, we're going to get the side of his mouth done by adding little balls of clay and then just smoothing them all in. Just using various different tools just to get everything smooshed in the way we like. Now we're going to push in the mouth just that little bit more of a bigger ball stylus. And now that's done we can get a nose in place. Once that's all smooshed in, we can start using various tools again just to finish it off. There we go, looking good. Now we need to mark out where the eyes are going to go. I'm going to use a ball stylus for this and then just open them up slightly. Using that side of the head for reference to where the next eye's got to go. So we get them exactly the same place. Right, now with the eyes themselves, I've actually pre-baked little balls of clay. As you can see right here, which we're just going to slot into the holes we've made and then get these little worms of clay to go around, which are going to smooth into these sort of eyelids. Again just using various tools again just to get everything smushed in the way we like it. Sorry about the camera going out of focus. There we go, the general eye. Now we're moving on to the tongue, as you can see we've just got the general shape there and then we're just going to start using different tools again just to carve it all out and then we're going to slot that in his head and there's his tongue it's starting to take shape now but we're going to come back to the ball stylus again and just mark out where all the teeth are going to go 
Again, with the teeth, I have pre-baked them all. You can see them in the top left-hand corner there. Just pre-made them and used a heat gun, actually, just to cook them off quickly. There we go, we cut them down as needed and get them in place. Now, just putting these in temporarily for now, but I do actually take them out and put a little bit of um, liquid clay in there as well, just to make sure everything's secure later on when we rebake again. Now we're just going to find that position, get his head in place, and we can start building out his neck. Right now that's done, we can get the ears in place. Again coming back to different tools just to smush everything in and dig out the, ear, the ears themselves. So we've got all the right appropriate holes in all the right appropriate places. There we go. And now we have ears. Oh, hello Fudge. There's one of our new kittens. As you can see, we're starting to get the fur in place. Now, I'm only doing this leg for the time being because it's going to be the only real furry part that's actually seen apart from on his face. But now we've done that. This took me several attempts to try and get this right because I have to get the clothes done in sections. So we start off with the bottom part and then work our way up. Just cutting and tearing bits and pieces because he's a rat at the end of the day. He's not worried about his appearance too much. But there you go, I'm starting to get the sleeves done to his cloak. And now the other arm. Just tearing bits off of the underpiece just to try and get everything as we like it. And the rest can get all smushed in later. Alright, now coming back to doing the fur, we're not going to go as deep on his face, obviously, because he doesn't have as much fur up there. But yeah, just lightly scoring away with this tool. Tried different various tools in the past, and um, I haven't got a single tool that I use for all of it. I'll come back and use different various tools depending on what I'm doing. But as you can see, we're starting to do the mask of the hood of his cloak. We cut the holes for the eyes and the ears. I'm just going to pinch that on his underside of his chin and everything gets flattened down again on cam off a of camera but just so you've got a general idea that's how it looks before we move on to I don't know what we call this but it's like a flag I suppose or some kind of banner but we're going to get that in place before going around and giving him a belt Now again, I did use liquid clay on this afterwards. I did realise that it was a little bit flimsy. So once we've done that, we're now going to work on a towel. So I'm just going to drill into the pre-baked back of him. And we're going to get this bit of armature wire and we're going to position it how we like it. Again, took me a few attempts to get it right and how I wanted it to sit. But once we've done that, we've wrapped it in a little bit of floral wire just to give the clay something to grip onto. If you noticed earlier, we also done that with his arms. Also, we're going to move on to his... is it a scythe, I suppose, or an axe? And again, I've just added floral wire just to give a bit of extra substance to it. Right, now before we go any further, we need to start building up the base. So I've cut this bit of wood and scored it, and we're using hot glue and tin foil just to make a very rocky kind of a scene. And we're just finding our position for where we want him to sit before we cover it in clay. There we go. Just using a bit of tin foil now, wrapped up in a ball to give it that rocky texture. Right, now we can move on to his feet. Again, just pinching and pulling and shaping away before we can get it into place. Actually, that was his hand, sorry. I thought that was his foot for a start. But yeah, it's the same process for the hands and for the feet. And off a of camera, we actually added the nails, which you can see before moving on to the paint. Now we've blacked out the, the base 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to add layers of grey. Now I'm doing this in the way of dry brushing. So with dry brushing we get as much paint on, we get paint on the actual paintbrush and then wipe the majority of it away and then start gently brushing over the edges. Now I always black out any metal work before I go over with metallics, it just helps it pop that a little bit more. Right, he's nearly done. I did start off doing a purple on his uh, robes, but then I changed my mind to blue later on, as you can see there. And getting all the finishing touches done. Now adding a little bit of this glue for more of a salivary sort of look. And this one is now complete. Leave us a message down below, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you very soon on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.